Hey friends, I am super excited to be here um, to talk about our choice board for iReady Week as part of our reading lesson for the day today. Um, you're not going to see another reading lesson come out for the rest of this week because your focus is going to be on taking that iReady diagnostic. You will still have your letter land test tomorrow, but that's going to be the only extra thing that you need to do this week. And then the rest of the week, Okay, it's going to be all about this choice board. So you can start working on it today. You can keep working on it tomorrow. You have the whole week. Okay, But the most important thing for you to know about it is that you don't have to do the activities like all of them. Okay, You can pick and choose. You can change them to be more kind of what you think is fun or what you think is interesting. Nothing about this choice board is set for you. Okay, this is just to give your brain some ideas about extra things you could be doing to give yourself a break after you finish the iReady diagnostic. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up for you. Okay. And I'm going to get out of your way so you can see it a little bit better. But what it says is all activities on this board are optional. Our focus this week is the iReady diagnostic test. Feel free to supplement with your own activities if they better meet your needs. Okay. It says pick an activity to complete from the choice board. Click the board and then tap view original to make it bigger and make the links active. We're going to do that in just a minute. Go back to the journal section of Seesaw and tap the plus sign in the top right corner. I'm going to stop and show you that in just a second. Okay? It says use tools such as the camera, the video, or the drawing to document whatever activity you pick from the choice board here. Okay? It says Make sure you turn it in with a check mark so I can see it, and then I'm going to put all of the things that you do on the blog so that your friends can see them too. It says come back here to this assignment and click Add Response. Use a drawing tool to X the activity that you completed, and then click this draft button to save the board as you complete more activities. Don't turn in the draft board or the choice board until the end of the week because I want you to keep being able to come back and X and add. Continue picking activities, adding to your journal, and Xing them off on the board. Okay, so let's talk about that. what that's going to look like. So step one is to click this. Step two is to click view original because that's going to make it really big. Okay, and then all of these different links are going to become active. All right, so let's take a look at what this top choice is first, and then I'm going to let you kind of explore the rest of them because they're all really super cool. It says dress up as your favorite book or Letterland character. You can do both or you can do more than one. Act out a part of the book or something from the Letterland site. So if you choose to dress up as a book character, okay, then you might want to take a picture or a video of you as that character. And if you choose to take a video, you can be acting out like your favorite part of the story for whatever character you're dressed up as. If you choose to do Letterland, you can get on the Letterland site and see what that Letterlander does in the Letterland story. And then again, take a picture or a video of you doing it. So let's try going to the Letterland site because I want you to see how you can click these links once you make it nice and big like this. Okay, remember that I sent you your username and password for Letterland in that inbox on Seesaw. So you should be able to go back to the inbox on Seesaw and find a page that looks like this, okay? Everybody's school ID is the same. It's K-O-L-C-528. So I'm gonna go back to Letterland. I'm gonna type K-O-L-C-528, okay? And then hopefully it showed up. There it is, enter. You're gonna wanna pick my name, Mrs. Peterson. Your username is gonna be your first name, so we're gonna be my friend, Rion. And then your last initial, and it doesn't have to be capital, that's okay. And then your password is one, two, three, four. Go. So Meet the Letterlanders is going to be a good spot for you to go to in order to pick a Letterlander that you want to dress up as. 
And last year, during Letterland Day, I was Vicky Violet. So let's pretend for this activity that I wore a purple shirt, I um, cut out the letter V and put it on, right? And I kind of cut out, remember, um, I put some water in it and then I stuck the violets um, inside of them because Vicky Violet has a vase of violets. So if I go down to Vicky Violet on here and click on her, I can hear Vicky Violet's story. Vicky Violet lives in a village in the Letterland Valley. The soil is very rich near the volcano, and the vegetables she grows are full of vitamins. She takes very good care of her plants. She especially loves the five violets that she keeps in a valuable vase. Can you see her vase? It's very pointy. So I'm going to stop there. So maybe for what I act out, if I were to dress up as Vicky Violet, is me gardening, right? Since it sounds like she grows violets and vegetables that are full of vitamins, maybe that's what I act out on my seesaw journal. So whenever I'm ready, instead of being here on the choice board, I'm going to need to come to the journal, okay? You're going to need to use this green plus sign. And you're going to either take a photo or a video or if the activity you pick has to do with drawing, there's lots of different choices on this choice board, okay? But for me, I'd probably either take a photo or video of me dressed up as Vicky Violet, all right? And then I would say, like, I am gardening because Vicky Violet grows violets and vegetables. And maybe I'm, if it's a video, I'm acting it out. If it's just a photo, maybe I record my voice saying that, all right? So let's go ahead back to that choice board. So that was this example here. And again, you can see that the link was active because I hit that view original and I made it bigger here. So this one is talking about writing numbers and being able to collect different objects to go with the numbers. This one says to be a weather scientist. Ooh, this is, if you click this link, a bunch of directed drawings that you get to pick from. It says pick a video and learn how to draw something for a friend, family member, or teacher. So it's going to bring up a bunch of choices, and you can do it a bunch of different times, right? You can draw on a real piece of paper. You can draw in the drawing app. You can take a picture of something that you drew, whatever you want. Go on a scavenger hunt for each letter of um, the alphabet. That one's pretty cool. Build something. Practice your tricky words in different ways by writing them in sand outside with water and a paintbrush. This one says, teach us how to do or make something. I know our friend Allison did this already with the peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but you could teach us how to dribble a basketball, how to play a certain game that you like. You would walk us through it like Miss Atwood did for her smoothie recipe and say, this is what you do first, this is what you do next, and kind of take a video of yourself teaching us how to do something. Um, telling edition number stories. Again, there's examples of different things. If you're not sure what that would look like, you can click on the links to see someone who has already done it. It says, continue to fill out your reading log. Pick a book to tell your classmates about. Where can they find it and why should they read it? So you might be on Raz Kids, you might be on Epic, but you can tell us a little bit more about a book that you're reading. Do 100 exercises in groups of 10. Draw your classmates and your teachers in special outfits or costumes. So do like a class picture since we can't be here together. So you would draw me, you would draw Miss Atwood, you would go through all of our classmates and then um, do like us in like whatever you think we would wear, whether it be like a superhero costume or a fancy dress, that's up to you. Look around your house for things that rhyme, do science experiments, this one's pretty cool. If you click that link, it'll show you 10 different experiments that you might be able to do with things that you already have at your house. And one of them is a rubber egg. So I know when I have a regular egg and I drop it on the floor, psh, it would crack everywhere. But this one teaches you how to make it so that it bounces like a rubber egg would. That's pretty crazy. And then this one says, take your teacher bitmojis on a tour or on an adventure, kind of like Miss Lee Hockey did in her geography lesson. I said, you can make a map for us and show us all the places that you went, or you can tell us a story about it. So again, I'm going to let your families kind of help you through this. But I want to go back, now that I pretended to add 
my Vicki Violet picture, I can come back to the activity section. Okay, I'm gonna find that choice board. I'm gonna click add response. Okay, I'm gonna use the drawing tool to X off that I did this one. Okay, and then I would save it as a draft and I would pick the next one to do. So maybe you do three today, you do three tomorrow. That would give you enough to do every day this week. Maybe you do two today and four tomorrow. Maybe you just decide to do one, 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 and one. That's totally up to you, okay? And a lot of this time, you can do it more than once. Like this one, you could do, you know, 10 different letter landers and a book character. For the teach us how to do or make something, you could do 10 different videos of things that you know how to do or make. There's 10 different science experiments in here. So you don't have to just do it once. You can come back and exit off again if you do it over and over and over again. But the most important thing is that you save it as a draft so that you can keep coming back to it and then you can send it to me at the end of the week. All right? So because this is a reading lesson, I thought it would be really fun if I read my favorite book to you. Now, I wanted to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar because I had a caterpillar costume, but since I moved rooms, I just can't find it. So I thought instead that I would read Toot and Puddle to you because I do want you to spend this time doing things that you love to do, okay? It's a break from regular school. We're gonna focus on the iReady diagnostic and one of the things that I love to do is read. So I'm gonna read Toot and Puddle. If you don't wanna watch me read Toot and Puddle, you don't wanna hear this story, you can go ahead, you can end it now. There is no assignment that goes um, with this video other than I'm gonna push out the choice board to you. Okay, this is just for fun because this whole week is about having fun. So the book is called Toot and Puddle. And if I were gonna dress up as one of these characters, you could see that I would need a pig costume because Toot and Puddle is all about these cute, sweet little pigs. And that's my favorite part of this story is the pictures. The characters in them are really fun, but the pictures themselves are just beautiful to look at. So I'm gonna kinda come off to the side so that you can see them a little bit better, okay? Toot and Puddle live together in a place called Woodcock Pocket. It was such a perfect place to be that Puddle never wanted to go anywhere else. Toot, on the other hand, loved to take trips. He had been to Cape Cod, the Grand Canyon, and all the redwood forests. So if I'm being a good reader and I stop to make connections, Toot reminds me a little bit of Miss Atwood because she likes to travel a lot. And maybe I'm a bit more like Puddle because I just built a new house and I'm busy enjoying all of those fun things that you can do there. One day in January, Toot decided to set off on his biggest trip ever. He decided to see the world. Do you want to come along, he asked Puddle. We could start with someplace warm and wild. If I was taking a trip, I would want to go someplace warm and wild. What about you, Miss Atwood? Warm. Warm. We like it warm here in our classroom, so when you come back, it's going to feel tropical. Puddle preferred to stay home. Look at all the funny things that he's doing. Oh, look. He decided to put on his ice skates and go outside. I love snow, he thought. So I want you to take a minute. Are you more like two who likes to travel or puddle that likes to stay home? Ooh. So again, this is what I love about this author is she wrote the book a little bit differently. She included postcards in all of her pictures and kind of compares Toot's travels to what Puddle is doing at home. So you'll see this kind of jump back and forth between Toot and Puddle, Toot and Puddle. <coughs> so this one says, Dear Puddle, I've made some new friends in Africa. Is winter getting boring? Toot. And you can take a look and you have to kind of spy him in the picture. Look at his new friends in Africa. I think I'd be a little nervous with all those hippos. And then here's Puddle. Meanwhile, presenting Puddle at Pocket Pond. Dear Puddle, Egypt is awesome. The pyramids are the greatest. 
Wish you could meet me at the Oasis. Your friend, Toot. And again, now that I'm starting to make some more connections, I think Toot is a lot like that other character, Sarah, that we met in Library Mouse, who likes to go on a lot of adventures because I heard about the Great Pyramids again. I remember that from the other story we read. But then Puddle reminds me a little bit more of Sam, who's a little bit calmer and likes to do things um, that aren't so crazy or exciting. It says, March meant maple syrup. Puddle wished Toot were there to taste the pancakes. So you can still have fun at home. He's getting maple syrup from the tree. If you didn't know that, maple syrup is sap from a maple tree. So he's collecting the sap in a bucket here to make maple syrup. Oh, I love this picture. Can you see him snorkeling? This would be a fun character to dress up as. It says, Dear Puddle, can you believe I'm in the Solomon Islands? They're in the Pacific Ocean. I spend all day underwater. I love being in a school of fish. Has spring come yet? Your pal, Toot. And then I love this cute little picture of a little pig mermaid over here. And then take a look at what Puddle's doing at home. Yes, spring had arrived. Puddle was having mud season. Yay! And I know pigs really do love the mud. Because if you come down here, it says, I love mud. So maybe you're like Puddle and you love jumping in all these gushy mud things in the spring. This is a beautiful picture. Look at him up here. It says, hi, Puds. I'm in India. Or is this a dream? It's your birthday, May 3rd. Hope your party is the best. Friends forever. Toot. Aw, having a birthday party. Back at Woodcock Pocket, they sang, For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow that nobody can deny. I know a lot of you have birthdays that are coming up where you just had a birthday. Ooh, this looks a little scary. Look at his face. Dear Puddle, help! Mountain climbing is scarier than jumping out of a plane. Remember when I talked you into going parachuting? Your friend in the Alps, Toot. In this cute little picture. Puddle remembered parachuting. Miss Atwood, would you ever jump out of a plane and go parachuting? I've thought about it. I might if I had somebody to go with me. Let's go together. Let's be like Toot and Puddle and we'll jump out of a plane together. We'll take pictures. That'll be our fun this week as Miss Atwood and I will jump out of a plane. Oh, what do you think this is? Take a look at their outfits. Do you know what they're about to do? It says, Dear Puddle, you would love Matador Camp. The bull's name is Dandio. Bravo from Spain. Toot. So they're about to do the bull fighting where they wave that red flag and the bull comes charging at them. But I love all the little names on the pig's hat, it says, Pablo, Jose, Paco, Toot, Juan, and Luis for all their little pig outfits. In July, presenting Puddle at Pocket Pond. Except this time, he's not ice skating because it's in the middle of summer. He's jumping in for a swim. Every time he jumped in, he cheered, Ole! Because that's something that they would say in Spain. So he was pretending that he was there with Toot. Ooh, doesn't that look like fun? To toast marshmallows with some penguins. Dear Puddle, August is cold when you're in Antarctica, but I've made more friends here than anywhere yet. Are you going to the beach this year? I miss you. Do you miss me? Friends forever. Toot. And that's the month that we're just ending right now is August. Yes, Puddle missed his friend. This would be Mrs. Peterson going to the beach. And I know that some of you too missing your friends. Dear Pudsy, bonjour from Paris. Art is everywhere. Love is in the air. Au revoir. Toot. So here he is visiting a museum with these famous paintings in it. Oh, 
and here's Puddle. I love art, thought Puddle. So he decided to decorate his house with some flowers, get out his art supplies, and then look, what a great picture. So again, I hope you can spend this week doing some fun things like you see our friend Puddle doing, or even maybe you get to travel this week like Toot is doing. Ooh, some of you might like this picture. Mmm. Dear Pudzio, Italy is heaven. It's one big treat. Your friend, Tuzio. Isn't that where you said you wanted to go next is Italy, Miss yeah. Atwood? Yep. Are you going to eat all this good stuff in I'm the picture? Mmm, I would eat all of that stuff. Meanwhile, it was Halloween in Woodcock Pocket. Puddle decided to be horrifying. So that's going to be coming up soon. We have September and then October is when Halloween comes. One morning in November, Toot woke up and thought, it's time to go home. <gasps> Look at his face. He's so excited. He got the letter that he's coming home. So he's got to clean. He's got to cook. He's got to get ready. He's brushing his teeth. Yay! Toot's coming! Oh, I just love these beautiful pictures. So you can see he came home and they're so excited to see each other. December called for celebration. Here's to all your adventures around the world, said Puddle. Here's to all your adventures right at home, said Toot. And here's to being together again. Toot and Puddle said at the same time. Hopefully we can say that soon, right? Here's to all your adventures at home and here's to being together again. Toot was happy to be back in his own bed and Puddle was happy too. Look how cute they are. I wonder if it will snow all night, Puddle said. I hope so, said Toot. Then we'll go sliding, said Puddle. And skiing, said Toot. Good night, Toot. Good night, Puddle. The end. So we have plenty of these books here in our classroom. So hopefully when you do get a chance to come back to school, you can check out Toot and Puddle and check out um, some of Holly Hobby's other books because she's the author of this series. So thanks for enjoying my favorite book with me. Like I said, take this time to work on your choice board. Take this time to do some fun activities for yourself. And really, really, really focus on doing a great job on your reading diagnostic tomorrow. We'll talk more about that at morning meeting. I love you.